Who is King Sean? You too. What's up? It's who is King Sean, and we're well, back again with another banger. I got a quick video on Chase Freedom Card. Now we're gonna try to get through this pretty quick. I want to show you an example before I move on. Uh, we all know I love American Express, as you see right here. Personal credit card, right? Because everybody's always saying, uh, can you do more videos on personal credit cards instead of business credit cards? So we're going to do the next couple of videos on personal credit card, even though I love uh, Chase. Again, in the past three and a half years, I only use business credit card. This is my Chase Business Inc. with a hefty limit, right? So let me show you this method that you should be using on the personal side since people want me to talk about personal credit cards, right? So we got the Chase Freedom, simple and easy, right? Let's scroll right down here. We're gonna try to get through this fast and easy, right? So you can earn easy, people, this is a no-brainer right here. You can earn $200 cash back, right? After you spend $500. Now you can spend that on going grocery shopping, whatever you may do. This is easy to spend $500, people. Let's stop making this hard, right? And after that, you're gonna get unlimited 1.5% cash back in just the beginning, right? But look what you could do. You could earn 3% back on dining, restaurant, including takeout, eligible delivery services, you know, like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and stuff like that, right? But the great thing about it, look at this right here for traveling. Earn 5% traveling purchase through Chase Travel. So you will have to go through their booking if you want to get that 5%. This is a no-brainer, right? So um, use take these credit cards and start taking advantage of their products, right? But what we talking about, people, stay with me again. You know I make my video shorts because I want to get to the point, but I want you to get a good understanding before I end this video, right? So this is what we want to talk about, right? You're going to get this card, zero APR intro, APR for 15 months, people. So you're going to have 15 months, zero APR on this Freedom Credit Card, which is unbelievable, right? So what you're going to do if you want to take advantage, right? Let's say you want to liquidate the card. You're saying, hey, I got a $20,000 limit on this card, right? But I wish I could take out maybe thirty-five, dollars $50,000, right? So what you're going to do is, right? And you could do this with any of their personal credit cards. I'm just showing you examples, people, right? You're going to go over here, right? United Chase, right? From Chase. So you will pick any of these personal credit cards, right? Traveling cards. Why are we saying traveling cards we're gonna apply for? Because they're known for giving out high limits, right? So let's just go back to American Express because you know, I favor Delta, right? Um, this is the card I got. This card, when I got it, they started me off with $20,000. This card today is at $35,000. They're known for giving traveling cards high limits, right? So now that you've seen this card right here, Chase United, we're gonna go back to that, right? So let's say you get approved for the freedom or you already got the freedom, right? Let's say you got 20 or 25,000 on that one, right? And then you go ahead and apply for one of these traveling cards and you get 20, 25, right? So let's just say 20 on the first card, 20 on one of these cards, right? So now you got $40,000, right? All you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up the phone, customer service for Chase, and you're gonna tell them that you wanna merge both cards into one limit, right? So let's say you got a proof for this United Club, right? You got this one, you got 20,000 on it, you wanna tell them you wanna merge the limit with your Freedom Unlimited card. Why, people? Because now you're gonna have 20 and 20, which is gonna be $40,000, right? Stay with me. And we'll, and we'll be taking advantage of, people. Zero APR for 15 months, people. Start, we gotta start using our head, thinking outside the box. Remember, I've been saying that recently. Start thinking outside the box, right? I'm just giving you an example. You could do the, you know, any of the traveling cards, but this is the card I'm bringing to y'all so y'all can see. It's just an example, right? You get it, 20,000, call them up and tell them you wanna merge it with your Chase Freedom card. Now you got $40,000 with zero APR for 15 months. Go ahead, liquidate that card and you know whatever you're gonna do with it whatever investment you're trying to do with it you need that lump sum of money people this is easy you could do this with different banks different credit cards take advantage of it this is what you're getting approved for this is what you're working hard on your personal credit or your business credit what even though we're talking about the personal today take advantage of it this is a simple method that everybody should be doing so imagine you had this card and then two other traveling cards all 20 each now you just merged 
40,000 with the two other cards onto your 20,000. Now you got $60,000 on your freedom card, zero APR for 15 months. And obviously you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta make sure you don't have, you know, all those inquiries. You know how Chase is. What I would do, I would make a move like this when I got all my credit bureau cleared up with no inquiries on it so I can make that move. And hopefully, you know, you already got one of their personal credit cards. So when you do the traveling cards, you could get it. You'd be new, you really don't got no inquiries. Merge it all together, liquidate the card, make it happen. I just wanted to stop by today and give you all this information. If you know about this, get in the comments. Tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. But for now, I'm up out of here. Peace.